Hi everyone! According to the user manual, the vacuum should be cleaned once a month. If you don't clean it often enough, you could experience both a reduction of suction power as well as the air coming out of the top of the vacuum becoming really hot. Start by removing any attachments. Open the dustbin and give it a shake so everything falls out. Sometimes it helps to just close the dustbin again and run the vacuum for a couple of seconds and then empty it all again. Then head over to your shower. You can also do this in the laundry room, sink or outside with a garden hose. Remove the rear filter by twisting it so that the unlock symbol points to the rear and lift it out. Use this lever to take off the dustbin. Rotate and remove the cyclone package and give the vacuum body a couple of taps just to get rid of some loose dust. If the vacuum body is dirty, you can clean that off with a damp cloth. Let's set aside the vacuum body as we do not want any water into the vacuum body itself. Pop out the rear filter by opening the lid and lift it out by this grey tab here. The goal here is to get in there from all conceivable angles. I normally use warm water, but make sure you don't burn yourself. The filter can be placed onto the shower head. An additional option is to remove the shower head to obtain a focused water jet. If you do, make sure to place the gasket somewhere safe. Again, the goal is to get all the different holes and cavities. When all the parts appear clean, shake off the excess water. Dry everything off with a paper towel. Bear in mind it's still not 100% clean, so there will be some leftover dust and grime in the vacuum parts. Set everything aside to dry on some paper towel. The vacuum could be placed back in the charger. After drying for 24 hours, um, according to the user manual, the vacuum could be reassembled. Start by putting the filter back into the cyclone package. Make sure that the lever or notch over there is pressed in and that the filter is all the way down. Reattach the cyclone package to the vacuum body by putting it in and twisting it. The rear filter goes back by aligning it to the unlocked and locked marks. Dustbin goes in on a tab at the front first. Hold it at a slight angle, like this, and push it back. Close the lid, and the vacuum is now ready for action. Happy cleaning, and God bless.